Medvedev justifies Russian nuclear strike with laws of ancient Babylon. The laws of ancient Babylon and India, as well as the Old Testament and the Quran, give Russia the right to use nuclear weapons against its opponents in the West, said Dmitry Medvedev, the deputy chairman of the Russian Security Council. The principle of an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, is historical. It was indicated already in the laws of Hammurabi, the laws of Manu, the laws of the Twelve Tables, and of course, in the Old Testament and in the Quran. So evil can and sometimes should be rewarded with evil, Medvedev said in an interview with the Arguments and Facts newspaper. However, according to him, Russia thinks about the fate of millions of people and is aware of its historical responsibility to humanity. For the time being, I emphasize, we are the ones who manage to prevent the worst outcome of events. At the same time, we have the moral and legal right to give an adequate, symmetrical or asymmetrical response to direct damage to our security and sovereignty. This is established, among other things, in our fundamentals of state policy in the field of nuclear deterrence, said the deputy chair of the Security Council. In his opinion, if Russia renounces nuclear weapons, it can expect disintegration and complete collapse, which the Anglo-Saxon elites wanted and want so much. At the end of May, Medvedev threatened NATO member states with the use of tactical nuclear weapons if Ukraine began to strike Russian territory with Western long-range missiles. And for those enemy countries whose lands are beyond the tactical nuclear weapons coverage area, there is finally a strategic potential. And this, alas, is not intimidation or nuclear bluff. The current military conflict with the West is developing according to the worst-case scenario, the deputy chair of the Security Council noted. Medvedev told that at this point, Russia does not threaten NATO and has no plans of attacking its members. Today, Russia does not threaten NATO and has no plans of attacking its member states. He said, dismissing similar claims as a product of Western propaganda. He said that any attempts to promote hostile interests on the territory of Ukraine or other countries close to Russia will meet adequate countermeasures. If the number of such attempts grows, our responses will get tougher. Whether the entire planet will fall into pieces as a result depends exclusively on the other side's good judgment. So far, it shows none, the Russian official added. Sea and air drones of the Ukraine hit the Russian Coast Guard base on Lake Donislav last night. The occupying Russian naval forces conducted exercises to protect the waters of Lake Donislav in Crimea. Thanks to the Ukrainina drones, these exercises became a failure, because the Russians could not even defend their base, not to mention the waters of the lake. As a result of a combined attack by sea and air drones on the Russian Coast Guard base, the following were hit and disabled, headquarters with a control center, ammunition and equipment warehouse, electrical substation, technical structures, enemy firing positions. This is another reminder to the enemy that Ukrainian Crimea is turning into a trap for the Russians, in which they will be systematically destroyed. Because, as the head of the security service Vasily Malyuk said, death is the only prospect that we can offer to the occupiers, said an informed source in the security service. In the temporarily occupied Crimea, in the area of Lake Donislav, where explosions were heard last night, fires were recorded, there are consequences of the explosions in Myrny, the Crimean Wind Telegram Channel reports. Fires have been reported in the area of Lake Donislav, where explosions were heard last night, according to the Crimean Wind Monitoring Group. In Myrny, as indicated, it was not only loud, but there were consequences of the explosions. Russia claims that its regular air defense systems destroyed and intercepted 33 UAVs over the temporarily occupied Crimea. And two, in Russia, over the Bryansk region. The Russian Ministry of Defense also stated that it had destroyed 10 unmanned boats heading in the direction of the Crimean Peninsula in the Black Sea.